What are you looking forward to when you get out? Going shopping. Going shopping and going shopping. <laughs> no, not really. Good morning, everybody. It is surgery day, bright and early. Um, last night when I was checking my my chart, it said the type of procedure, and it looks like the J tube is still going to be the type that I think it is, but we'll see. Um, I'm just packing up my computer, my charger, everything like that. I'll go to the bathroom and change into my comfy clothes, and then we'll get in the car and go. So, I'm getting nervous, just because I still don't know what's going on, but I'm sure I can get through it, and I have some really supportive friends and family to be by my side through my recovery if we go ahead with the more inten invasive J-tube surgery. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, just ready to get the show on the road. And just like that, I'm ready to go. Um, it is around 7.15 now, so we should uh, be leaving within the next five minutes to head over to the hospital. Uh, my friend offered to FaceTime me while I'm waiting, just so I don't get too anxious. And she's gone through a J-tube surgery also, so she understands how it is, which is really, really good. I'm so thankful to have such supportive friends and family, and although we, um, although my mom and I have fought this morning because we're both on edge, I know she's just being as supportive as she can be given the situ situation. Um, she's scared also, I can tell. So, um, yeah, just really thankful for supportive friends and family. I love you guys so much. We've got my electronics backpack right here with my computer and stuff. My duffel bag with my clothes. There are snack bags back there. And then my reclining wheelchair. And obviously my camera case. And my vlog mask. My phone. And of course, a feral bag. <laughs> 30 minutes until surgery. We have a plan. The J-tube is going to be the button, which is really good. Yep. Um, we're doing biopsies throughout where I'm dilated in my small bowel, where I'm not, as well as some rectal biopsies to look for Hirschsprungs. And we're getting my port replaced with my Hickman that will be the Hickman apheresis catheter so I can get plasmapheresis through it, as well as TPN, obviously. And that's sort of the plan, right? That's right. That's the plan. Hi, everybody. It is Sunday. Is it Sunday, Mom? Yep. This Sunday, I've been in the hospital for two days. Um, it's been quite a blur because I've been on pain meds. So there was just no way I was going to vlog yesterday. I'm just going to do a quick vlog today and I'll probably compile them into one bigger vlog once I'm feeling up for <laughs> paying attention long enough to do them. But I have my new Hickman line right there. And I have my J2 line, my J button. Excuse me, I'm very bloated. Right there. So, as you can see, my tummy is full of air. Um, it's very bloated, but the tube is in. J tube's in. J tube's here. J tube's there. And that's my incision. It goes down from there around my belly button and up. And so, no wonder I am in so much pain. But they've been really great and I'm on a basal dose of pain meds as well as when I'm just in too much pain. I have this little pump when it turns turns green like that. 
I can get more pain meds so that I'm not constantly screaming in pain. So they've been really great on top of my pain. And um, I'm just so thankful to have my family be so supportive of me and take care of me when I'm really not feeling good. And my friend's coming to visit today, which I'm happy about. And I might have another friend visit tomorrow. So we'll just have to see. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So mom, how do you feel about this whole experience? Um, well, so far, knock on wood, so good. Seems like this is your second time, kind of second rodeo on the surgical um, board. So, um, you know, I'm really hopeful that this, um, that the J-tube will be um, helpful for you, that you can get medications and, you know, maybe try some new kinds of um, interventions. So, you know, it, it's, um, it's an important step that I, I'm hopeful, you know, hoping will help you. I think that's how we all sum it up. My genetic results just came back. We can't really make much out of them, so we're going to get a teleconference with my geneticist to talk about um, those things and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to change into some more comfy clothes since I've been in my special leggings. <laughs> and I'm going to maybe watch, some, watch a TV show with my mom and relax. Abby's here. Hi, friends. She's visiting me, having herself some really, really, really yummy looking food because they're really curly. Pull up the curliest one. Yeah. I wanted to bounce back. But it won't. Won't do it. And I'm here basically at flying high as a kite or whatever the saying is. Because I'm in a lot of pain. So Abby's going to vlog for the rest of this. So Julia, yeah. do you want to tell us how your day's been? Can you tell us why that is? Because I had nurses who didn't know what they were doing and questioned my knowledge, even though I've taken care of myself every day for the last year with all these devices in me. Understandable, understandable. What are you looking forward to when you get out? Going shopping, going shopping, and going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Going shopping, um, going to the movies, and taking my dog on a really long walk. Sounds fun. How long have you been here? long time. Yeah. But it's not the longest you've been in the hospital, right? Right. Right. Longest is two and a half months. It's a long time. Yeah. All right. Thank you for participating in our interview. No problem. Any last words? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. It is day four post-op, three post-op, and I am really drugged up and in a lot of pain. So we're going down for an x-ray right now. And I'm still on my PCA, which is good, but we're just taking it the day as it comes since I'm having some complications. My friend came to visit, which is really great. Hello. Um, and we're 
we're just trying to keep me comfortable. It's been pretty tough. So I'm going to go down to x-ray now, and I'll talk to you guys maybe tomorrow or maybe tonight, but definitely not right now. Bye. So I'm on a PCA to help with my pain, and but now we're just adding a pain med to my GI tract as well. Um, my, I am still... My surgeon is surprised that I still have no motility, but we had to reassure him, like, I never have motility. This isn't new. Like, this isn't not, this isn't unnatural for me to um, still have no motility after surgery. But, um, looks like we'll be here for at least a couple more days. My pain doctor is great. He's an anesthesiologist, so he's really trying to keep me, um, in as little amount of pain as possible while I heal. Um, so that's just some of the things that have been happening. I think I'm going to end this vlog and then start a new one tomorrow, or, you know, because all these clips are probably adding up. So I thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry it's been sort of a boring vlog. That's the reality of um, recovering from surgery. Here's my hospital room. This is my dad. There's my pole with my PC and my TPN and all that. There's a window. Here's my bed. Dashie, of course. And then I have a roommate over there. I'm at this hospital. I have a roommate. But because of my immunodeficiency protocols, I am a, I'm in a surgical room so that I don't get, um, and I'm not in like a medical room um, for somebody who might get, who might have a cold or something, which is really good. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.